Hi everyone. I hope that you are doing really well. Before I start, I just wanted to say that I hope you're staying healthy and that your loved ones are healthy. I know this is a really tough time for everyone, not only for those who may be sick, but those who may be losing their jobs or getting laid off. And I just hope that you're doing okay and just know that um, a lot of people are going through the same thing. And yeah, I just wish you the best of luck and all the love that I have for you. So um, today I wanted to film kind of a fun video. Um, and I wanted to kind of marry two things that I'm super interested. One being fragrances and the other being um, movies. And I figured now is a good time to do this video since um, when we're stuck in, indoors and we are told to you know stay in our homes, which we should be doing. Um, one of the things that we tend to do is watch movies. So I figured I would select three movies that I really enjoyed and um, kind of talk about them, but also provide a fragrance for each one of them. So I'll be sensing three movies that I really like and hopefully this will give you not only some recommendations for fragrances to try out, but also recommendations for some movies to watch. So um, I guess I'll get into it. So the first movie I wanted to talk about is um, a movie that I think has gained some popularity in the past few years. And it is called Moonlight and it is directed by Barry Jenkins. And if you haven't heard of Barry Jenkins, you should definitely check out his other movies too. He is an up and coming director and I've been really impressed with the work that he's been doing. So Moonlight, people know it more because of what had happened at the Academy Awards, which is unfortunate because I think that event kind of overshadowed the beauty of the film. So Moonlight, I don't want to give too many spoilers, uh, but it is about a young boy, Chiron, who is struggling with his sexuality and his identity. He's trying to figure out who he is. And the movie is set up in three vignettes. Each one is about him, but each vignette kind of shows him where he's at at that point of his life. So he starts off as a very... Um, almost like a fragile young boy and he grows up into being someone who is externally very tough and very hard. And so if I wanted to scent this movie, I wanted to give it a fragrance that is just as beautiful and kind of goes, goes over that same development that Chiron does. So um, if I were to pick a fragrance, I would pick Ambre Nuit by Maison Dior. And Ombre Nuit, if you haven't smelled it, it is actually one of the relatively older offerings from the Maison Dior line. It came out when it was still called the Collection Privé, I think it was called, um, when Dior, um, before Dior renamed that line. And Ombre Nuit, on me, begins with a very light citrusy opening and it folds into this gorgeous but delicate rose and the rose ends up developing into a very almost um, masculine amber and the amber that I get on my skin kind of comes off like ambergris too so I think it's a really interesting development uh, from the delicate side of the things to something harder and and um, and more masculine. And I think that kind of captures the movie, at least with Chiron's uh, character development. And Ambre Nuit is also very beautiful and elegant. Um, if you haven't smelled it, I think it's a great unisex fragrance that can easily be worn by a woman or a man. And I think it's, it's something that you really should try out if you haven't had the chance to. So yeah, that is Ambre Nuit by Maison Dior, and I recommend to scent it for um, Moonlight. So the second movie I wanted to share is actually a film that had a lot of influence on Barry Jenkins, and it is called In the Mood for Love, and it was directed by Wong Kar Wai. I think In the Mood for Love came out around 1999 or 2000, so it's been out for a while and it takes place in 1960s Hong Kong 
Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's about two people who find out that their husband and their wife are having an affair with each other. And so in response to finding out about the affair, the two people end up spending a lot more time with each other and developing a love for each other. And it is one of the most heartbreaking movies I've seen. The plot itself is very simple, but the way that the movie is shot is just so beautifully done. I love the color palettes in that movie. And it's a movie that has stayed with me for years, ever since I've seen it. And I watch it over and over again. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. Now, if I were to scent in the mood for love, I would say I would go with Frédéric Mal's En Passant. And En Passant in French can be translated into by the way, or it can also be interpreted as in passing. And just for the name alone, I would scent in the mood for love with this because um, in the movie, the two lovers often pass by each other in various situations and uh, they first do that they, they first pass by each other like near the beginning of the movie and they continue to do it towards the end and i just love the scenes where that happens um and the way it smells en passant it smells mostly like wet lilacs on me like as if there were lilacs but there were the rain had just come by and there is a little bit of this cucumber note in it, which I know can be disagreeable for some people, but I actually like the combination of the lilacs and the cucumber. Uh, and there is a little bit of wheat too, and the wheat is kind of there to balance out the wetness from that rain type of feel. The, the wheat um, almost smells like bread on me. Um, and the overall feel of en passant, it's very nostalgic it has a sadness to it but it's still very beautiful and i think that's exactly why i would scent in the mood for love with en passant i just think it's very fitting for for the movie and the way that it's done so yeah i definitely recommend both that movie and the fragrance en passant by fred Mal. now for the last movie i wanted to discuss it is a highly underrated movie i think and it is a German film directed by Christian Pissolt, and it's called Phoenix. It came out back in 2014, and it is about a woman named Nellie, who is a survivor of the Holocaust. She goes back home and tries to reconnect with her husband, but her husband doesn't recognize her because she had some injuries that disfigured her face and she had to get surgery. So um, there's something very Hitchcockian about this movie, I think. And it's just a, a really beautiful film about this woman trying to win the love of her husband again, but also trying to find herself and her identity. Um, yeah, really great film. It's in German, but I highly recommend that you see it. If I were to scent this movie, I'm going to go with Serge Luton, uh, La Fille du Berlin. And... Uh, I remember when I first smelled that fragrance, that movie ended up popping in my head. <laughs> That's what I basically thought about. Um, La Fille de Berlin um, starts off with this rose. Um, and it's a very, very feminine, almost vintage rose, but the, the fragrance overall smells very modern to me. The rose in this has a little bit of greenness. It's a little bit powdery but there's a thorniness to it and i think it's because there's something about this fragrance that has a coldness to it it almost smells slightly metallic but not in a disgusting way um it to me it really captures a woman who who is feminine but is trying to kind of stand up for herself so it's it's a rose that has a lot of resilience and to me, that is what Nelly, the character in this movie, is like. And I think it really captures her character very well. So I highly recommend both seeing Phoenix and also trying out Serge Luton's um, 
Lucky du Berlin. I think it's a very beautiful fragrance and one that I think um, rose lovers should definitely check out. So that is all I had for today. Um, maybe this was super geeky and no one's probably going to see this video. I'm like looking back at what I was talking about. I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a nerd. This is so bad. But um, I might do some videos like this if you're interested. Um, I'm really interested to see what what films you guys would send. I think I'm going to tag some people. Maybe I'll turn this into a tag and see if people catch on to this. But um, for now, I'm going to tag Sherry from Top Note. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely should. She's relatively new and I just love her fragrance choices. And she just seems like a very lovely person. And I'm going to also tag Pep from The Sentinel. I know he's into movies, so I think this would be an interesting video to watch from him. So that's all I had for today. Um, please take care. Please, you know, um, stay healthy. And I hope that you're doing well. I know this is rough for everyone, but I hope that we all can stay connected. And I hope that you don't feel alone. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and take care of yourself. Love you. Bye.